Deep freeze here in the deep, deep south, no doubt it will impact farmers and their crops. Yeah, it's going to be dangerously cold over the next two nights for them. Storm Track meteorologist Nate Harrington continues our team coverage. He's live at the Alabama Farmers Market in Birmingham with that story. Nate? Yeah, Sherry and Jim, the, the farmers market might have all kinds of produce right now, but this cold snap is, is no joke. Even though the winter has been fairly mild, the next two days are going to pose some specific challenges for farmers. On Jimmy Witt's farm, he has all types of fruit now growing, including strawberries, blueberries, and peaches. His rows of strawberries will be covered by sheets of plastic that are already in place. However, he's more concerned about the peaches. Due to the mild winter weather, some have bloomed early while other trees sit bare. It's the trees that have already bloomed that he will work hard to save over the next two nights. Naturally, the ones that are more open, the blooms are more open and more susceptible to, a, to the freeze and frost, and the ones that are tight and, and have not progressed along as far uh, are, are more cold hardy. And they're pretty confident that the preventative measures that they're taking right now are going to save a lot of those blooms, but he's going to find out over the next couple of days. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to tell you of a very interesting way he's trying to beat the cold. Live at the Alabama's Farmer's Market, I'm Nate Harrington, CBS 42 News. It's local weather coverage you can count on.